Good morning. Thank you all for coming today. <clears throat> My name is Gordon Criswell, Assistant County Administrator for the Unified Government. We've called you here today to uh, talk about the uh, Floyd case, and we'll start off with uh, Mayor Alvey. Mayor? Good morning. Thank you again for coming today. And we do. We come forward today to express our sorrow and alarm and frustration over the death of Mr. George Floyd of Minneapolis. On behalf of our residents, I offer our deepest sympathies to Mr. Floyd's loved ones, and I ask our residents to pray for them and for his community. And we come today because we want to assure our residents, and especially our African American community, that our police department and our sheriff's department are committed to protecting and to providing care to every person they encounter. We strive to respect the dignity and life of every individual, and we train our law enforcement personnel in those ways that protect each person and to provide aid and assistance to anyone under their care. As much as we have done and as much as we are doing, we know there is more to be done. And in order to move this conversation forward, I have asked the clergy of Wyandotte County to join me again in a conversation this coming Monday at 9 o'clock a.m. with Chief York and with Sheriff Ash. Our strength comes from the many people of goodwill, people of every nationality and race and economic and social condition. And when people of goodwill come together in open and respectful dialogue, we can achieve the common good. I am proud and honored to say that I lead a community of people who desire the good for all in our community, people who are willing and able to engage in open and respectful dialogue. This time, I ask uh, Chief York to please come forward. Thank you, Mayor. Good morning, everyone. Sheriff Nash and I would delight to offer our sincere condolences to George Floyd's family and his friends. We also offer our condolences to the people of Minneapolis that have been negatively impacted by this horrific incident. Incident like these clearly erodes public confidence that people have for men and women in law enforcement. We remain committed to earning and keeping that trust. As the leaders of law enforcement in Kansas City, Kansas and Wyandotte County, we are here today to recommit to you that we do not condone these types of police actions. We are saddened and troubled at what transpired in Minneapolis. Our officers and deputies are trained to render aid to everyone that we encounter, no matter what the circumstances are. The sanctity and dignity of life is for, is for everyone, and that's our priority, priority one. Law enforcement officers are sworn always to protect life and understand that our primary duty is to protect and serve the people of Kansas City, Kansas. We receive vigorous training, are bound by strict protocols, a code of ethics, and an oath of honor. With that being said, we hold our officers and deputies accountable for any violation of these core principles and commit to you they have been trained to hold each other accountable for any type of police misconduct. We enforce these values in our officers and deputies throughout their careers and hold them accountable if they break the law or violate policy. We understand and support the need to be heard. We ask that any assembly be organized and most importantly, peaceful. With that, 
we encourage anyone that would like to be heard to reach out to Sheriff Ash and myself. We are here and we are listening. Thank you. Thanks again for joining us. I'm Dave Reno, Public uh, Information Officer. We're going to take a few questions now, so please, if you have them, just raise your hand, let us know, and then direct your question to the particular individual you would like to answer them. Thank you. Any yes, sir. Well, I can tell you that they should not happen. And I can't give an explanation as to why this happened. It was clearly a violation of policy, in my opinion, and a clear violation of law. So we train our officers, again, to respect life. And if someone is struggling to breathe or is in pain or is injured, we render aid to them immediately. Well, we stand uh, with the community, obviously. Uh, we just ask if you want to be heard, we're all for that. We're here to help. We're here to assist the, uh, the people of Kansas City, Kansas. And if they want to be heard and they want to gather up in assembly, please, by all means, reach out to us and we will help out and we will make sure that's a peaceful, uh, well-organized and a productive uh, assembly. I'm sorry, I didn't hear your question. One. Well, given this scenario, that's what you're asking me, absolutely. Well, we would obviously review any type of excessive force, right? We'd have our internal affairs respond to the scene. And then if it is excessive, we determine and the evidence supports that it is excessive, they would be, uh, you know, given the circumstances and how severe it is, they would be suspended uh, at that point in time. One last chance. Uh, any more? Any more questions? If not, seeing none. All right. Thank you all so much for joining us today. We hope you all have a good rest of the day.